Chapman, we have him here live on Issues tonight. He is helping us find this poor 10-year-old boy who was dragged off of a bus in Texas by constables operating on the authority of a judge who handed the child over to the father who did not have custody and who, in fact, kidnapped this child once before. The mother had spent two years trying to get the child back when this man kidnapped the child back in 2005. She got the child, decided to move the United States to be safe, and voila, this guy comes in and kidnaps the child again, but this time with a twist, getting a judge's help in Texas because the judge didn't bother to check it out. Um, Dwayne, here's the thing. If the mom has the passport, is there any chance that he's in Mexico, uh, in uh, in France or Russia, or is it more likely that this guy took the son to Mexico, a car ride across the border? And if if so, ha Mexico's a really big place. I lived there my junior year in college. It's massive. <laughs> how do you how do you narrow it down? Well, the passport, first of all, you know, it's it's almost as easy as it to get a passport, a fake one, as it is to get a fake driver's license. With a child, is a little bit more difficult. So, uh, you know, the passport thing really doesn't mean he probably is. If he was for sure seen entering Mexico, you would think in the Mexico City area that would he he would lay low for the holidays. You know, the holidays are huge in Mexico, same as they are in America. I think he's going somewhere where he could lay low till after the holidays when things start dying down. And then I guarantee you he's going back to where he was the two years before that's comfortable to him and the boy. And that's there's France, something there right? That that's, that's Nice, France? Yeah. I, I think that's France. I would think so, France. Let yes. me just say this, though, dog. I think that because this guy is a millionaire and he's a, apparently a trust fund baby, used to living in the lap of luxury, he's going to have a hard time laying low in some rugged, uh, skanky, uh, little tiny hotel somewhere down in Mexico. I think this guy likes luxury, and I think that, that we should look in Mexico, but look for some kind of luxury, right? Because, Berenice, you're, you were married to this guy. He, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who wants to rough it, if you know what I mean, Berenice. No, he likes luxury. He likes to to have uh, to spend money. Uh, so yes, for sure he's gonna spend money in some way. I don't know by by credit card or I don't know by cash, but you know he likes good life. Now, Ronald Bro, you're the attorney who specializes in these cases. We're, we're kind of piecing the puzzle together. Dogs helping us. Uh, what about the coordination between the U.S. authorities and the Mexican authorities to try to put the noose around this guy. Well, the, you perhaps can get the cooperation. I, I know that our manhunter thinks that good things will happen if Mexico can find him. Frankly, I'm not so sure. We have an extradition treaty with Mexico, but that same treaty provides that they're not required to extradite their own nationals. I'm not sure if Jean-Philippe is French or if he's Mexican. I know that uh, I represent two different mothers who had children uh, abducted a year and a half ago. We traced them down to Mexico. The FBI traced them into Mexico. Interpol was looking for them, and they haven't been seen since. Well, you know, this is just such a mess, but I want to ask Mom, will you come on tomorrow and bring the picture of the Russian wife so that we can put that on the air and help narrow uh, this case, will you come back and show us this picture of this woman that he married? Yes, yes, of course, the one that I have. You know, if you're not going to get the help you need, we're going to do it here on Issues, and we're going to just break this case down. And Jane, we're not it's so important to do son. this. But it's so important to do this before they get to Russia. We have no extradition treaty with Russia, and Russia is not a member of the Hague Convention on International Child Abduction. We must find that child before he's taken to Russia. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's just a horror story. I can't imagine this is happening in the good old U.S. of A. All right. Thank you. Fantastic panel. A dog, hang in. We need your help on thank another you. case as well. And, Mom, you're coming back tomorrow with that picture of that Russian lady, and we're going to try to find your son. A stunning new development in the search for missing.